know, all those guys are hard workers. Uh, Darren, just he's just a starter right now. That's this is a starting title that he has. But uh, at any moment, Coach Fick can just tell uh, Chris Worley to go out there and do the same exact thing that we have the confidence in him that he'll go out there and do the same th exact things that make the same plays that Darren's made because he plays inside the system and he uh, he just knows what he's doing. What is it like when, you, when you're, you're playing next to Darren, the way he's playing right now and, and last year? What, what stands out to you about him? Uh, you know, Darren's he's out there. He's confident as well. So you can just look in the guy's eyes, look at him, him and Joshua's eyes, and just know that they're confident in me. Uh, playing beside two All-American type linebackers is is amazing because just watching them make plays and it's making me want to play up to their standards and play up to the Silver Bullet standards and Darren, the guys that have played before us. Darren keeps referring to it as y'all are having fun out there. I mean, you, you wish you could almost play defense all day. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm, I'm sure you don't, but I mean, but what what is it like out there right now, Raekwon, with the way things are going? I mean, we got the mindset that if we have to win a game three to zero, then that's just how we're going to win the game. Uh, we can't we can't depend on anybody else. We just got to go out there and stop their offense and do our job, and then let everything else take care of itself. Do you consider yourself an honorary member of the front four right now? The way they keep throwing you up there on the line occasionally on some of those sets, and you're standing on the edge. I mean, uh, I mean, do you, do you, when they present those game plans every week, do you get excited about what you see? I mean, what, what do you, you know what I mean? Uh, what do you think about the plans that you're getting right now? You know, I, I know that Coach Fix is going to put me in the best situation possible to make plays. Uh, for our defense, but you know, I feel like I'm a part of the guys because every time I come in, uh, Dolphins, Joey, Tommy, Taekwondo, they always show love to me when I'm on the line. So that's fun. <laughs> you mentioned that. Uh, you well, mentioned. Oh, I'm sure with as well as things are going for the defense, there are still things that you hope to improve on. What what are those things right now? Because they're pretty hard for us to identify. Uh, you know, there's always room for improvement in everything I do. Just. Uh, you know, Coach Fick just got on us about crossing over inside the box. Just little small stuff like that. It's the little things that make the most impact on your game. Uh, crossing over inside the box, uh, our alignments, being precise in our alignments, uh, getting the guys in front of us in line, making the adjustments, and knowing what the back end is doing behind us. Just small stuff like that. You said earlier when the front four has been great, when you kind of get the guys set up where they're supposed to be, and you just kind of mentioned it again there. And the middle linebacker is supposed to be the quarterback of the of the defense, so to speak. Uh, how how do you think you're coming along in that role? Do you feel comfortable even as a, a second year sophomore, kind of being directing traffic in there? You know, last year I wasn't real confident on setting the front and then knowing what the back end is doing behind me. But uh, you know, with the help of Josh and Darren and even Vaughn and Tyvis, you know, those are the guys that I really work with on the. Uh, play by play, just set in the front, knowing what the front is doing behind in front of me and uh, whatever set the office comes out of, Vaughn is always yelling the coverage behind me. So he always helps me out and I'm more confident with what I'm doing so I can play a lot faster. When you uh, you mentioned that the mentality is if you have to win a game three to nothing, that's what's, what you'll do. You've seen what the offense can do when they're going through struggles like this. Um, what do you think? Are you just thinking hey, it's a matter of time for them to catch back up or does it just say hey we got to do what we got to do what do you think when you see them struggling which has been uncharacteristic the last few years for them you know I, I really don't think about all the office stuff that we're supposed to do or something like that but uh, <laughs> whenever whenever the defense is called up we just know we got to go on the field and do what we do like like you just said uh, regardless of what the situation is regardless of where of what kind of situation we've been put in we just got to go on the field and get a stop. Is the offense looking better in practice than they are on game day, though? Uh, best offense in the nation, if you ask me, uh, because some of the looks they did give us in practice is some of the hardest stuff that we've seen all year so far. So uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I was going to say, do you sense a frustration over the, on that side right now, Raekwon, about the way things have gone the last two weeks? No, I don't sense frustration, man. It's The guys on our team, they know that when they're going through hard times, that they have to put a hard work helmet on and just go to work. Mm -hmm. They go to practice Tuesday. We start practice back Tuesday. And I know that the guys are going to come out with a high intensity at practice and just work hard. Raekwon, we've heard you and a lot of other defensive players use the phrase, do your job a lot this year. Yeah. Uh, where does that originate from? Uh, Coach Myers concept, man. Don't worry about the guy in front of you or beside you. Because if you worry about the guy in front of you or beside you and don't do your job, then you're the guy that they're looking at on their side, <laughs> if you understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you do your job, everything else around it will take care of itself. So. Rayvon, have you seen much video of uh, Western Michigan? 
yeah, man, as soon as I get done with this, I'll be going to watch it. <laughs> as soon as I get done with these interviews. But uh, I'll watch a little bit of the film. But uh, as soon as I get done with this, we'll attack that a little bit more. A little bit that you've seen, what have you seen from over there? A lot like in Northern Illinois? Yeah. They bring out a lot of sets like Northern Illinois, but uh, I think they have a good offense. Great. Uh, nice, a decent quarterback. But uh, we'll just have to see. You mentioned that you like being up on the line when they do use you in that role, but it seems like they're using uh, Darren and, and Josh a bit more uh, to rush off the edge like that. What kind of pressure does that put on you when they do send those guys off the edge and you're kind of the only backer back there? Uh, I'm just waiting for those guys to make, go make a play. So just sitting out there watching those guys make a play, man, just, I'm happy for them. I mean, I think I'm happier for when they make a play than when I make a play for myself. How would you describe the way Adolphus is playing right now? Top five pick. <laughs> I mean, because he's eating up everything in front of me, so he lets me play free. Him and Tommy, uh, my three tech in my nose. Uh, even the second string guys, when they come in, they're eating up everything, man. But I think Adolphus is at the top of his game right now. Uh, he always can get better, but I think he's he's playing great right now. Is it because he's attacking? I mean, what what, what is it that stands out more than anything else about the way he's going at it? I just feel like he has the confidence and knows that Nobody, if he really puts his mind to it, there's nobody in front of him to block him. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel real confident that he's thinking like that. Are you surprised he's not a captain? Because he comes across like a, a, a leader. He's a senior. I know you guys have a lot of good leaders on this team, but are you surprised Raekwon, or excuse me, that uh, Dolphus isn't a captain? Uh, you know, when you have a team full of leaders and a team full of uh, senior seniors that are eligible to be captains, you have to wean it down to really the ones that everybody's voted for. And when we had went through the voting process, those guys that received the most votes were the team captain. So I guess we still look at him as a captain on the defense, even though he's not a team, technically a team captain. But everybody knows on the team that he's a captain in, our, in, our, in the books. If he's a uh, top five pick, then what's Mr. Bosa with all the double teams and sometimes <laughs> even triple teams that he's absorbing? I think if Adolphus is top five, you know what Joey is. Uh, number one and <laughs> number two is the least that he'll go, in my opinion. Hey, Raekwon, when it seems like when teams try to attack you guys on the edge, whether it's like a screen or running it out there, that Vaughn or Darren is always kind of there to shut it down. What makes those two guys so good at kind of taking away those stretch plays that teams try to hit you with? Man, they they attack on, on defense. Uh, usually that's the, office of, uh, that's the office of vocabulary to just go attack the defender. But on, on defense, we attack the uh, offense. Uh, instead of waiting on them to come block us, we go attack the block. And get off the block and go make the play. I think Vaughn and uh, Darren are going to do doing that great on the outside. Rick, do you pay attention to the polls, et cetera? I mean, you know, were you concerned that you guys might lose your top spot after last week's game, and then you see Alabama get beat by Ole Miss? I mean, are you aware of things that are going on nationally? I mean, do you keep up with that kind of stuff? No, I don't really pay attention to the polls because at the end of the day, uh, it's about what you go out there and do on the field. If we don't hold up our end and we lose our game, then what does the pose even matter anymore? Yeah. yeah.